Have you ever been left out of something? Have you ever not fit in? Of course, we all have. We all had the experience where we were picked last for a team or excluded from something, and it's painful and it hurts. And I've heard people say this, that when you say that Christianity or coming to Jesus or living for Jesus excludes people of other religions and other denominations, that Christianity is very exclusive. But I want to tell you something that's very inclusive. Jesus said this in John 14, 6. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. And you're going, well, Scott, you just proved our point that Jesus is exclusive. He says you have to come through me. You can't get to the Father. And then we hear stuff like, well, you know, all roads really lead to heaven. That's not true. There's only one road, and it's through Jesus. But here's the inclusion. He says this. Who's where we may come? I invite you. Come to me. And then he says this. If anyone comes to me, I'll not cast them out. I'll accept them. I'll love them. I'll bring them in. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me is the most inclusive language ever. And then I've heard some people say, well, you know, Jesus says that every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that he's, glory, he's Lord to the glory of the Father. And that sounds pretty exclusive and pretty arrogant to me. You know what? That's rooted in ignorance. Because Jesus says, when I'm the Lord of your life, I make life livable, death bearable, and heaven possible. I'm including you in my love, and I'm reaching you. No matter what you've done, what you've become, where you've gone, I'll accept you. I'm the way. I'm the truth. I'm the life. Come to me. I'll take you. That is the inclusion of Jesus. That will change your life.